Hello and welcome in the third part of the uh, real flow for Cinema 4D. And today we're going to talk about the type of emitters and how we can control them in the basic uh, properties of those emitters. Check it out. Let's begin. So here in the in the cinema, and then let's add the um, uh, emitter and let's add a circle. And this is uh, the types of emitters we're going to go through it. So let's go very fast. And uh, you got the basic coordination system object. Uh, how big is it? It is. It's uh, just like this. It's like a scaling emission, which is we're gonna go through right now. It's a circle emitter type, volume. So when we push play, uh, we see that the emitter is working, of course. So now we got the the volume. Volume. It's. Um, distance and amount of particles from the emitter when you push play it's gonna go like a small par part of it it's gonna not emit the particles uh, all the time then of course it's a uh, speed which is uh, very simple or fast slower vertical random uh, that's uh, when we get uh, some uh, kind of randomness of the vertical oh speed so it's 200 so this is uh, you can get the random like you see here and the horizontal random is the same, but in the other way, vertical and horizontal. Uh, when you're uh, gonna like check the side emission, then you got emission from the sides. And let's here uh, we see to default. Uh, so this is emitting from from the side, and we got ring ratio. We can actually create a kind of ring, and that uh, is gonna come uh, if we wanna turn off the side emission. The emitter is gonna work like uh, in the cylinder. I can see empty is inside. And it's going like this, and the oh, it's a uh, bigger, small, or oh, it's just the outside of the of this uh, circle emitter. Then it's a mask. You can mask it uh, from collision object or mask surface offset. Is gonna we can uh, work this uh, later because now we cannot see so much. So this is the circle emitter. So let's go another emitter type cylinder. It's a very simple thing. It's a cylinder when you just uh, emitting from cylinder. And it's also vertical random, vertical, horizontal random, and the speed. That's it. This is the cylinder. Like you see, it's emitting from cylinder. And all the stuff up here is the same. Next one is the fill. And fill, it's a uh, uh, fill emitter needs the body. So let's say if we're gonna like a sphere, let's go emitter and uh, body, you just drag and drop uh, the sphere here. And you make it. Uh, visible and not visible in the render and like you see the fluid fill the sphere and when you push play it's not not so much gonna happen but uh, because it's no gravity but let's uh, focus on here this one is jittering it's just uh, some settings that using for the uh, more random stuff it's working seat it's uh, how they're gonna stay normal thing this is the fill ratio you can actually fill uh, a little bit uh, half of your shape uh, which is uh, you can get the coordination x, y, and z. So this is a normal thing. Fill mode, fit solid region. That is gonna feel like uh, the region inside. Uh, solid volume. You're gonna get the fill up the outside. And as you see, it's um, uh, you can uh, fill up in this way. And the inside is uh, is our sphere, our object, which is uh, we we just uh, here change for file. Uh, on uh, solid volume, and then you get um, you get surface offset. Like you see, the surface is uh, kind of bigger and uh, inside and outside. Like you see the sphere here, and then uh, we can get the uh, layers to remove. You just uh, eliminate some particles, uh, like you see here. But you need the layers as well. You see this is going like a little bit. So go like this. Fill volume. It's the if the if the layer has to be. Uh, if the emitter has to be filled, and then we're gonna just get the fit the solution, and then we got texture, and uh, texture is gonna, I'm gonna show in some other emitter, but it's because it's gonna be the best to show like on the picture emitter, but uh, let's jump to another one. So that was the fill, the image exactly. Now we got the image, so we can uh, show actually uh, this what I was talking about in the fill object, the texture slot. Okay, here. So we go for the image, and you get the texture here. And normal texture doesn't work here. So you have to go uh, make a, a new material, like in the say uh, color channel, 
we go uh, you can go to noise then just uh, get uh, some scale or maybe I think the checkboard is gonna be a little bit better but also you can go with noise uh, but um, in the checkboard maybe it's gonna be uh, a little bit uh, surface uh, checkboard here and then uh, this in emitter the texture from here it's working you can drag it here okay so uh, it's not gonna work when you get the texture over here so uh, this is the, the we, we apply the texture and we gonna we can uh, see that we emitting from the texture okay so this is the texture like we see like the black or white emitting so this is uh, in the ch when you get the texture here in the image you can um, emit particles and different fluids liquids uh, from the image which is uh, black and white uh, I think is the best so uh, yeah speed normal thing volume like we say like uh, it's a fill up stuff vertical random and uh, horizontal it's just the randomness of course the speed uh, you can get whatever and if you're changing the uh, checkboard here let's say it's a uh, 5 and 5 then it's gonna of course like you see it's a different uh, distribution so when we're gonna get the speed of emitter let's say to 1 maybe 5 that's what you can see then we get the we have to get some uh, let's say here uh, emission uh, let's say okay 20 and then the random it's uh, should be here on zero like you see so we emitting uh, from the texture that's it the texture is uh, in this shape and this stuff the particle going in this shape okay so we got the, the image emitter linear very simple just the linear thing we get the emitter type height it's like a volume then you got the speed and then you just uh, you can uh, animate the stuff so it's going like this simple is that that was the linear object and we got uh, this uh, here the body it's a uh, it's a sphere and when we push play we got the uh, did a little bit uh, too much of uh, resolution so like you see it's uh, emitting let's say here uh, that's a 5000 maximum particle so they're gonna finish in some point like you see but uh, like uh, you see it's uh, emitting this uh, particles from the from the emitter here object and of course we got the randoms randoms randomness which is we can uh, Kind of like spread out very much the particle small numbers working here distance threshold this is gonna work uh, how far from the object uh, the uh, emission should start so this is uh, like you see zero it's enough coming like directly from the shape of sphere but then we're gonna just get the this time for example 300 that's gonna go 300 far away from the from the sphere jittering it's um, say here zero jittering it's like kind of like going roundlessly but it's a jiggle jittering not so jiggle so it's like uh, give you more randomness spread out for the particles uh, parent velocity work with the pollens and then you can actually the smooth normals if you got some problems with animation it's uh, smoothing the normals uh, of this so this is sometimes helps so that was the object sphere it's a simple one it's just the sphere emitting from sphere and of course you can uh, here we got the still in the emitter mm, emission where is this um, fluid here let's say 20,000 so it's gonna work so this is the circuit metal randomness different parts like you see speed all this stuff or oh, uh, speed of the particles and then we got the fill sphere sphere and that's a filling the sphere only and that's it and we got the object we got the width so it's uh filling the sphere and exploding something right so this is what then can help but this is emitting from all the time sphere 
then we got spline so we just uh, need the spline object uh, let's say uh, it's a uh, oh, one here and then we got the, we put the slide here the spline here and you got uh, some control here randomness zero let's say so this is uh, you emitting from the from the spline and you can get actually control of this uh, each points over here so this point uh, you uh, you can actually white one it's uh, it's select on next one you're gonna go there there and you got like um, the radius then you got the speed so you can speed up the particles from from that distance you can rotate them and you can uh, get the thickness like you see the all the all the stuff work pretty 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 intense and you can control all different stuff but we can get back so this is everything from spine spine you can uh, add a new controls all this stuff and thickness it's going like uh like a thick particles of course you can get the uh, no thickness zero but of course you want always thickness and the randomness is uh, going like this so this is how you emit from the from the spline from every spine of course you can get creation uh, uh, the tube so it's going like tube or the just the edge okay so this is the i1 edge uh, this control and speed of course you can get this and all this stuff so this is the spline square very simple one just the square and you just uh, want to emit the particle you can get side emission like in the circle one and random random that's it very simple square and we got triangle the same thing side emission speed volume all the stuff what was so uh, up there so you can get the uh, actually always here in the in the button help and that's gonna lead you to the a uh, real flow site when you can actually read what the what the stuff does if you forget something and uh, that's it for today and i hope uh, you like this tutorial because uh, we're gonna continue with another one uh, with the demons this time and then then you're gonna put the mesh and uh, all like uh, the stuff what you what you need to find out about the quite good simulation of different liquids viscosity liquids water li liquids all the all the stuff which is you can create uh, with the riffle so check it out on my website pyrograph.com uh, that pl sorry and uh, and i'll see you soon